Hey, hey, I'm Mindy Kniss. This is The Daily Rage. It is Friday, October 8th. And wow, what an exciting day in the market this morning. <laughs> it was all over the place. One of the things that I was thinking about, though, and on my screen, I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. This is the micro Russell contract for December. And if you look in the bottom left quadrant, that is the 10 minute chart. And what I have on there, those green lines are Keltner channels. I have them set to 1.5 and 3. And what that is showing is the ATR, so the average true range. So 1.5 ATRs are those inner green lines, and then three ATRs are the outer green lines. And you can see it got a little crazy, it expanded quite a bit with all the volatility this morning, just before about 6 a.m. Pacific time. It was like, we're going to go down. Nope, we're going to go up. Nope, we're going to go back down. Nope, we're going to go sideways and then rally up and then back down and then up. <laughs> and then finally, it got itself into a little bit of a trend. I was able to ride that trend down on the short side, which was great. And as you can see, it is heading back up now. So I'm already out of that trade probably out for the rest of the day. One of the things that I've noticed about trading on Fridays is this is what typically happens to me. On Thursdays, I'm usually really busy with my other business. So meeting with clients, doing other things, teaching classes, and I don't have a lot of time on Thursdays to trade. So then it comes to Friday morning. And I'm like, yes, like let's get back into the markets. And then because it's Friday, it's kind of like meh. <laughs> So I have noticed this week after week after week, so I might actually need to change my schedule around from my other business life and shift some things up so that I can be trading on Thursdays. Because yesterday was a really exciting day in the markets and don't want to have too much FOMO, but you know could have made some good money yesterday had I made some smart decisions. But so let's talk about today. This morning, as it was going sideways, I was looking at it earlier and I found myself almost wanting to force trades because I wanted to be in on something because I didn't get to trade yesterday. So I was like, ah, like, let's go, let's do something. But what the charts were showing me was just like, well, we're just gonna go sideways. We are not gonna give you any significant trend. The indicators are gonna be mixed. So really I should not be in the trade. Well, thinking about that concept of forcing a trade, which I feel like a lot of newbie traders want to do because we want to be in on the action. We don't want to miss out on you know, any potential possible profit. But when we try to force it, the thing I was thinking about this morning was David Hawkins. He is a, or was an author and a teacher. And he has a concept called power versus force. There's actually one of his most famous books is titled that power versus force. And really force is when you're moving against something. Whereas with power, there is nothing to move against. So power is about life and energy and force is basically the opposite of that. The way you could think about it is if you are in a boat going down a river, which way is it flowing? It takes much more force to try to paddle upstream against the current, against the flow. And really, that's kind of what I was trying to do this morning in the markets. I was trying to force something as opposed to just waiting and being patient and saying, okay, I'm going to sit and chill until the market shows me which way it's deciding to go. And how I would know that is based on the candles, based on my indicators, and making sure that my various indicators that I use are confirming what I think the market is attempting to show me. So when it's just going sideways, it hasn't even decided, it can't show you shit. <laughs> so the key is to just be patient and not try to react with force just to try to get into a trade because you wanna be in on the action, but instead just sit in power. So this is a note to self as well as to all of you. I hope you find that helpful. If you would like to see daily videos from me on trading futures and different indicators that I use, you can find all of that at thedailyrage.co. That's .co.
happy Friday and I hope you have an amazing weekend. I look forward to talking to you again on Monday. I'm Mindy Kinnis. Thanks so much for watching.